Are you serious? Uh, brother, at what stage in, your, in a relationship do you talk about a micro penis stage? There's no relationship. You bring it up within the first couple of dates, like I said. By day three, you should have mentioned, you know, where you've travelled, what you might have studied at uni, and the fact that you have a micro penis. Right. In yeah. that order. What, like, what? Like, but I don't know, I feel like, could you not? All right, so let's flip, flip, flip it this way. If you're really into somebody, but her vagina's so small, I right, know it's so big, okay? She's huge vagina. Like wide. Like the circumference. Big and wide. Big and wide. Big and wide. All right. Never actually fully closes. <sighs> so like there's a, it wouldn't make a high pitch whistle if the wind was to hear. It would make like more of a bottle sound. It's like cavernous. <clears throat> it's cavernous. <clears throat> you're not going to get any pleasure from it. Yeah, right? Right. It's going to be like, it's going to be like, Putting your dick into an empty vacuum bag. Yeah. All right. There's not gonna be anything in there. You're not gonna have to fill anything. Dust. Yeah. Dust. A dusty vagina. Basically. All right. Wouldn't you want to know about that before you slept? You would want to be able to make that call before you actually slept with each other. You don't want to find that out as you're sleeping with each other. But even then, like, at what point do, do you comfortably say to someone, "By the way, I've got a big vacuum bag fanny." Dust your cross the bear, man. So you're saying like you, if you had a micro, if I had a micro penis, I'd go up and say, "Hey, and hey!" You have to say this as well. We can't fully appreciate what that would be like. We joke about it, and we're like, oh, oh, if it, I'm, "We're not talking about having a small cock. Yeah, we're talking about a micro penis. When, it, when you look at it, looks like a vagina. Like when you look at a micro penis, it looks like a vagina. There's some. The skin is over the penis. So your dick is hiding behind. Yeah. Not even behind balls, behind the, the skin. Yeah, but they get busy though. People with micro penises, they have you know families and kids, and I wonder if it's got to be one of two ways, right? It either rules your life, and it's all you think about, and you're online looking for new procedures, and you know you follow the Twitter account, whatever the Boston dynamics of penis <laughs> technology is, like you follow that. Yeah that page on, on on Twitter and you keep your fingers crossed that one day you'll be able to have just like a normal size penis. Dick transplant. It's either that, which yeah. I think they do now. I think somebody has had a dick transplant. But it's not it's not really a dick transplant. It's more just sort of like stuffing silicon or something you around, get, you get like, around the sides. I think you get a, 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 a like a, a phallic shaped bit of skin that you can pump up. So it's like, you've got to be like, one second, babe, and then like switch, switch on a pump. The posh ones. Yeah. Like, yeah. The old school one, like the discount one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like even you get your blood pressure checked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a minute. Yeah, it's either going to be it completely rules your life, yeah. or you just don't care and you're completely liberated by it. I don't know how I deal with it, man. Having like a proper button dick. I don't know. I, it, I feel like I'd be seeing big dicks everywhere. Like I'd be on the beach on holiday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man walks past in a speedos. I'd be like, fuck's sake. But then saying that, I don't feel inadequate when I'm saying I'm at the gym and I'm around like. A load of big dicks swinging yeah. everywhere. I don't think oh, I'm not gonna pull mine out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm not uncomfortable around that, you know. Or you know, I'm happy with. I'm. I'm. I'm happy with my lot. I'm yeah. not. I'm definitely not a. I'm not a big chap. But putting out that you're not, you're not like a, a foot long wood. Nah, so you're like a tripod. No, 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 no. If I have friends who do have huge, massive dongs, and yeah. it's actually a problem. Yeah, they like struggle to find yeah. the right size yeah. vagina. Yeah. yeah, it's a problem. And they get lightheaded all the time, passing out in the streets. I would hate that. <laughs> you know what? I was speaking to one of my boys uh, about... <laughs> fuck it. I love these stories, right? Because I feel like this is so out there that it's going to sound like it's it's just mad. But one of my mates, a uni friend the other day, told me that he gets drowsy when he gets a hard-on. Yeah, because he's got big, massive... Yeah. Cock, isn't he? But he was driving and he, <laughs> Sorry. he couldn't get rid of his hard on. And he told me that he actually managed to bash one out doing fucking 70 on a motorway. And my first question was, bruv, like, how did you not crash? Like, how did you experience ejaculation and not crash your vehicle? I was just about to, before you told me that he had a wank whilst he was driving. I was going to say, you know like how they have those signs saying you should pull into a service station and go for a nap <laughs> yeah. if you've been a bit tired. <laughs> I thought he was going to pull into a service station or maybe even a slip road just to like yeah. knock one out into a bush. And, yeah. and, and if you got, say the police stopped, I'm like, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? 
and you're just sort of like <laughs> cranking one out. You're like, oh, good evening, officer. <laughs> um, I just have a really big cock. That's like feeling lightheaded. <laughs> yeah. I was getting an erection whilst driving. So what I'm doing right now is actually it's for the benefit of everybody else. I don't think you, I don't think you should ever ever wank and drive at the same time. That is really dangerous. I mean, beyond it being dangerous, if you crash and die. They're going to find a spunky mess. Yeah. 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 A, a know, moisturizer. Gonna know, your know, dick's going to be out. Porn's still going to be playing on your fucking phone. Oh, he it's, was watching porn yes, as well. He was watching That's porn. That's so dangerous. dangerous. Very dangerous. I would also hate to get killed by somebody like that. I'll be livid. Like, as I'm floating up to heaven, because obviously yeah, that's where yeah. I'm going. Um, as I'm floating up to heaven, right? And I'm like looking down at the accident, whatever, blah, 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 and I get to the pearly gates. And who is it? Is it St. Peter or something? Uh, like whatever it is, like, yeah. What the fuck am I dead for? I'm like, oh, you, were, you, were, you, 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 were, you were killed. But what, what, drunk driver? So it's, oh, it's even worse. <laughs> he was having a wank. Like, what? <laughs> Rubbish. Also, if you're driving and knocking one out, unless you've got a very high vehicle, someone is potentially <laughs> going to see you just like see you. <laughs> driving and yeah. dashing one out. That's always been the reason why I've refused getting like head when I've been driving. I've like, you know, yeah. dated a couple of girls who are like, let's, you know, and I'm a bit like, no, what would people see? <laughs> 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 I don't want people The idea of maybe Getting caught Is a bit sexy But actually getting caught Not hot Nah not Not cool. into it I've never had a, a driving blowjob I mean what gear Do you drive in If you're in manual Doesn't matter Second It's quite hard To change gears <laughs> I'm pretty sure whoever Can you just say it Why are you down there Can you just freaking Four fleas Cheers love One two three <laughs> and um, I'm pretty sure Whoever invented The automatic car Yeah Solely so that they could get their dick sucked whilst driving. Or the That's American stick shift where the, where where the, sti <laughs> the, stick, the stick is... Because the stick on regular cars is here, but on the American which you've got the... the ch -ch -ch -ch. But don't... No, but don't... Don't do... Keep those things separate. When it's you're not, driving, yeah. just drive. Don't be having sex or fingering or watching porn or anything. Don't do, don't do, any, don't do any of that. All right? nah, That's nah. terrifying. Pull over and have a wank pull at a service over, station. Pull yourself off. Just make sure that you're in a, not near like where the family parking is as well because that could be an um, embarrassing day for you. That could go very wrong. You, that could go horrendously wrong. You know like they have the like HGV parking spots at yep. the service station. Yeah. The Sable parking spots, yep. right? Why not one... People who just want to, do you know what? I actually think people are just doing that anyway. Yeah. Now that I think about it, the amount of wanking that is going on, not even sex, the amount of wanking that is going on at service stations up and down the country. Oh, of course. HGV drivers, they ain't fucking seen their wife for three months. They're driving halfway around the world. No, but at least they've got a sort of private space. Yeah. Like they're, 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 the cabs, the HGV drivers are like actually quite nice. I'm talking about your average scumbag dude just driving somewhere, like, whatever, on mm. the motorway. It's like, I want to just pull over into a service station and just knock one out in the bathroom. In the bar, oh, in those bathrooms as well. That's the worst. Uh, probably, like some, probably, like, some of the worst bathrooms you can go to. What's, like, the worst bathrooms? You, airport. Airport. Because shit from all around the world. Coffee shops. Yeah, coffee shops <sighs> pretty bad. Because coffee makes people shit. And most of the time, it's not a toilet with multiple cubicles. Yeah. Most coffee shops will have just that one one toilet for everybody to use. Ugh. You're getting that like early morning coffee's just got everything moving kind of thing. Why do we always end up talking about cum and farts and <laughs> shit whenever I come on the show? I don't know, but this is how to kill an hour. Are you serious? <laughs> my name's Marcus Bronzy. I've just killed my own appetite. <laughs> I'm sort of hungry before this. I'm deaf. How's it going? Hello. How's it going? How's it going? Um, and yeah, this is a show where we like to talk about new ways to kill time. But yeah, now if I'm honest, like the reason we come back to body functions is because, bruv, it's part of natural life, man. It's like, you know, I think there should be more shit talk. More shit talk. Where else are you going to get, you know, exactly. the, the wanking spot? Exactly. That's anyway, an idea. Yeah. Anyway, we'll come back to that, actually. I've got something that we're talking about soon. Uh, this We've is a show where we like to that The last time we spoke, the world was, seemed like it wasn't about to end, right? In the time since we've spoken last. Oh, fuck you know. Boris Johnson is Prime Minister. <laughs> Trump just killed some Iranian general. They're all trying to in death to yeah, America. There's loads of World War Three memes. People are really joking about this potential I, World War Three. I want to be brutally honest about this. Yeah. I'm shitting myself about this. I know we're all like, <laughs> yeah. wouldn't it be funny if World War Three happened? I'm like, 
No, I'm, sh- I'm nah. genuinely Fuck. terrified. I'm just thinking about getting a house in the country, bruv. What's that going to do? Get me a little bit further away from the nuclear blast that's going to fucking no, no, slap no, 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 down no. London. All that's going to do is instead of dying quickly upon impact, yeah. it's going to take you like five years to die really. All your hair's going to fall out. Take that. You're going to use all your teeth. Yeah. You're going to be fighting mutants in the streets with your bare hands. Three titties. Three titted yeah, no, mutants. I'd, I'd I'm up for just, that, bruv. I'd rather just get People with micro penises will be growing massive dongs with mutations and that, bruv. I'm up for that, man. That or just a bu- or just a bunch of micro penises all over their body. <laughs> just like sixteen nipple sized penises. Gen- genuinely though, I am I am a little bit scared. And I wonder how do you I if I, I felt like I just woke up one day and we were just in a war. So I didn't I didn't get a say. That's how wars happen, bro. It's a bit like, you know, if you've got like a mate who's had a bit too much to drink and they start mouthing off and then people want to beat them up and they're like, oh, well, you're with him. So mm-hmm. you're going to get, it's like, I, d- yep. I didn't do anything. Yeah. You could get drafted, bruv. Can, I'd, all I want is to experience all the benefits of living in this country yeah. and not have to do anything to earn it. Is that so much <laughs> task? I don't... I mean, there's a big party of people that feel the same way, though. I want to enjoy freedom, not yeah. fight for it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they did years ago. Yeah. Let, 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 let them. Yeah. I, I, I really do worry. I've been losing sleep, uh, sleep, sleep over it a little bit. I worry about World War Three. I really do. It's one of those things. If it happens, it happens. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, whatever. If it happens, it happens. What do you mean? You're if like, it happens, it's it happens. What, can I, what can you do, bro? That's what I'm worried about, though. We just, there's nothing any of us can do. They just feel so helpless. Yeah, but like they did also say like, in, during those times people were really happy like morale was like even though it was quite rough like in the trenches and stuff like around the war times people were quite happy the ones that stayed in the UK do you know I, I, I did hear that I like depression was at like an all time yeah. low. low people were at their f- people were fit and healthy so they felt like they were, they, I bet the sense of community was really big yeah as well. yeah of course imagine that let's go fuck some people up together great it's, mentality it's um it's reassuring isn't it that as humans the one thing that will definitely unite us all is hatred. We could all, if we could all decide to hate one group of people. Yeah. Well, I just, that's why we need an alien invasion. An alien invasion. To distract you, us. Oh, mate. Right. If aliens landed right. Oh, fucking that's, hell. I've, 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 I've think that as a, as a conspiracy, I think that's going to happen. Yeah, that, that needs to happen. I'd love I that. I feel like they're so good. Now, like, have you ever, have you seen some of those deep fakes? Oh, those deep fakes are amazing where they use technology to take like loads of pictures of people's faces. Yeah. Uh, I've actually been looking into how we can do it as well. Take pictures of people's faces and you can actually slap someone's face onto another like image onto another movie yeah. basically. So, so like you know when you see good Photoshop, yeah, so yeah, someone yeah. just taking someone's face and putting it on another picture. Yeah, yeah. And it used to be a time where you look at it and go, oh, I don't know, there's something a bit dodgy, but I can't put my finger in it, but uh, yeah. it's probably yeah. photoshopped. Yeah. yeah. They can do that now with video. And it's getting better. And that's the shit they're showing us. That's what they're showing us, that they can take your face and they they, they can, if, if there's enough audio of you talking, yep. they can build algorithms Easy. to get you to say anything and it looks and sounds Easy. like you're saying Easy. anything they Easy. want to. Okay, so yeah. I'm saying that's the technology that they're showing us. They have... I'd say they. I don't know who they. <laughs> them, <laughs> they, them, they. they. There's technology available to make us see stuff. Yeah. So what if? So I just kicked my headphones out. That's all right. And I was about to make such a good point. Um, I reckon they're going to fake an alien invasion. I'm ready for that because shit. there's we we're too woke and tuned in to support all out war mm. and military effort. You have to get us so scared. You have to make us believe that there's an impending invasion in order for us to like fully back a war. Yeah. Because we've seen enough footage. We have enough hindsight with wars that we have fought before. We're like, it's never a good thing. You have to believe like the only way that people, you know, you can say like World War Two was you know, successful was that the idea was if we didn't take part, there was this evil guy that was going to take over the world and it was going to come for all of us and, but we're all a little bit too woke to believe that now. But if there was an alien invasion and they were like, guys, 
we've got to put all of our resources yep. into these weapons yep. and the military and yep. we need to spend trillions and trillions on bigger guns and we need, yes. to, put, we need, to, we need to put a gun on the, on the moon yes we need a gun on the moon plasma weapons on the moon that can shoot anywhere enough within a squ square inch of any yes. part of earth that's what I reckon they're gonna do. I'm, I'm up for it, bro. Faking I'd love an that alien invasion. I'd love an alien invasion right now. It have you watched the what? You've not watched the Watchmen, have you? Have you watched it? Nah. What's that one? Is that one the one about all the, the superheroes, but none of them have any powers? And there's one that can do everything, but he doesn't do it. One is like omnipotent and has like all the powers. Yeah, that's dumb. Um, that's but dumb. but they do. You know, oh, the latest what, is, what, is Watchmen Stanley. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, you, can <laughs> you can tell. You can tell. But the Watchmen, though, I will say the latest season of it does tap into some of what you're saying. You might like that. <sighs> Explain the on omnipotent guy thing to me because that's dumb. Doctor Manhattan. He could do anything. He can. He experiences past and present at the same time. It's making me angry. And, and can okay. like just pull apart molecules and make them into anything. Does it make he wants. sense? Uh, okay. Yeah. What's his day to day like? He lives off. He lives off the planet. Lives on Mars. He lives on Mars. Yeah. What does he do? Can he like materialize in, in, friends to it, hang out with him? He can materialize whatever he wants. How sad! <laughs> <laughs> and you just materialize like the most banging party ever. Like, you like do, but you'd just be depressed real. after that. You'd be like, oh, you really would. <sighs> I, I, I don't like the. It's like the Superman thing. I never mm. got into Superman as a as a, as a comic book character because too I was like, strong. We could just we could just do anything. We'll just grab you and just throw you into the sun. <laughs> Okay, all right, you win. That's like with um, Avengers, with Captain Marvel. She was too powerful, so they had to just write her off. She had like a really shitty line, like, you know, there's other shit going on in the universe. It's just as bad. So really, you guys need to handle it and just oh, pisses right. off for her like movie. Yeah. But anyway, Dev. Do you, do you have, just real quick while I'm on the Superman thing. Because <laughs> this just popped into my head as well. Go on. If he is, he is Superman, okay, yeah. but he goes out with a regular human, Bruv, yeah. when he nuts, what? I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, we've all got a little bit carried away before, okay? But I'm trying to like sort of uh, like really fathom Superman's strength. So he could like what flick a marble from like here to to Australia. Or something. He could he could breathe. He could go blow a marble. And it would leave Wasn't the planet. That, look this up. Look this up. Wasn't there that scene in in Superman one of the originals where he sneezes? Superman sneezes away a galaxy. Yeah, that's what's. Probably, there's, there's, probably there's, what happens? Did he accidentally sneeze away a galaxy? This is in a. This is or an actual cartoon. Sneezes all of someone's skin off or this, something. This is in a cartoon. He sneezes away. My super sneeze is destroying the solar system. I'm suspecting this might happen. Wow. Okay, so that's an involuntary thing. He doesn't have control over the power that a sneeze gives. Yeah. So. Super genius. If he, up, 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 why has that never been brought up in a Superman film? What happens when Superman jizzes? Does he have to like pull out and then Whoop. aim towards the sky? Sorry, Rob. <laughs> uh, no, someone's made up a fake sneeze video. That's it. Um, but yeah, when he sneezes, I don't know, bro. Like he destroys galaxies when he sneezes. Okay, so I'm saying, has he had to have the conversation with Lois that I can't come inside you? I will kill you. I will go straight through you, yeah. cut you in half. If he. <laughs> <laughs> he, nut he nuts it there and she just goes <laughs> Lois <laughs> babe he's gonna nut in her so coming? hard her spine comes out of her back as, as he's, he's still coming, coming. oh no oh my god <laughs> again at what point in the relationship do you say hi if I nut in you you will die I'm probably gonna die I mean that could turn someone and be like oh god damn well, it'd be different, and it? it's yeah. different for guys and girls. If it was a girl, she'd be like, right, I'm going to take a vow of abstinence. I'm not going to have sex with anybody. If it's a guy, a guy would be like, just so you know, <laughs> my jizz kills. I'm not, so, you die. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, he can't even, he can't even come over somebody, bruv, because if, because he's going to be coming out at what, like a thousand miles an hour? I just, I, take your skin off. I don't understand why it hasn't been explored yet. Why have we not seen Superman come in a film yet? Mm? If we Google Superman having sex, that's going to take you straight to website. There's going to be some weird fan site, isn't there? Can Superman have sex with Lois Lane without killing her? See, yeah, it's there, you know. And what what, what are people saying? Is that on Reddit? Quora 
Same thing. Uh, realistically, Cora? no. Similar to Ray. There, there you go. Yeah. No matter how much the big man controlled himself during the act, human ejaculate travels at extreme speed proportionately. And if his little swimmers don't just blow off the top of their heads. Just like <laughs> well pictured. After the first one finds her egg, the rest aren't going to die off. Every living cell in Lois's body is going to be fertilized to hell and back. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Eyeballs are pregnant. Well, it's got like everlasting sperm. It's not just going to... Super sperm, bruv. Amazing. Do you reckon it glows? <laughs> Ooh. I don't know, you know. It's really hot. She could. She could just have a little bit of kryptonite up her fanny. <laughs> Problem solved. Would she yeah, need a little, like, does she cube. need like a... Kryptonite a, condoms. A, cri- a kryptonite laced coil. A kryptonite coil. A crypto coil. That would do it. Crypto coil. He could wear like no, no, a no, kryptonite... No, 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 but wouldn't that stop him from... I don't know if that would stop the jizz. I feel like that would kill him, wouldn't it? Yeah. But then, you know, it's like touche. <laughs> you can kill me, I can kill you. She got that killer pussy, boy. I, see, either way, this doesn't work out. Yeah. Either way, we've, it's, it's been overlooked. Yeah. It really has. Poor Batman. Batman? Batman. Poor Superman. No, so, Batman's fucking. Who's all about superheroes? Or fu- Batman, different different Bruv. girl every film, sometimes two. Bro, he's. And, and we're like, who's that? And he's a guy that owns the club that you're in. So if they're in the club, forget balling, he owns the club. Didn't it also seem that Batman's always having some sort of like fundraising benefit yeah, thing where man. like he's got and I'm like, uh, come on. You're the billionaire, Bruce yeah. Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> benefit? Yeah. You donate the money. Yeah. Bruv, it's yeah, mad. Batman's, maybe maybe Batman's doesn't. Batman's fucking Batman's also like so not Batman but Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Because he's fucking as Bruce Wayne, not Batman. Yeah. Oh, he, I don't know, maybe he's he, fucking as he's Batman. He's also like a bit cold with it. Like I can imagine. There's one of the films where Batman, he like smashes some like Russian ballerina. Yeah. And I imagine, you know, Bruce Wayne in the morning's a bit like, <sighs> he's a bit like, I've left with some care money on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to cuddle. <laughs> I have boundary issues. <laughs> Alfred, will, Alfred will see to it that you get home safely. <laughs> Please delete my number, bitch. <laughs> He seems cold, <laughs> innit? Like, Bruce Wayne in the morning is cold. Oh, man. Yeah, Batman's fucking. Batman's fucking Superman ain't. Oh, well, anyway, Dev, welcome back. Thank you very much for joining us, bruv. Very welcome. I feel like I'm, I'm very happy that you're back in the house. Back to life. Hey. Back to reality. Come on. But um, you're not just back I on the show. Whole song. Shall we? Reality. Get sued. But Dev, you're, you've joined us. And when I say you joined us, you're back in the Apple world, bruv. Thank you uh, very much. Yeah, yeah, Can yeah, we talk yeah. about this, bruv? Yeah, so I am. Um, I was long suspected. Well, I was an iPhone person since it came out. Since the first iPhone came out, that's all I've ever had. You know, totally, totally, total slave to the brand of Apple. And yeah, man. Got like the new one every time it come out. But I was one of those people who noticed how the performance started getting shit as they were bringing out the new one, and it just got to the point where my iPhone started to let me down too much. You know, it was it, it would die on twenty percent battery, and apps would crash. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this! <laughs> Fuck you, Apple! I felt like I was being held to ransom. Like, oh, this is the only phone I'm allowed to have. So I decided to go for a Pixel Two. Not Google a bad choice. It was, bad choice. it was actually really good. But then I um, I lost that phone in Chile when I did the SS thing. <laughs> I left it in a hotel. Uh, and then my replacement phone was a Samsung S8. Uh, I had that one like, for quite a long time. And yeah, you don't want to pull out an Android in front of people. Oh, pe- people are so mean about... People think when you pull out an Android in front of them, people think that like you've fallen on hard times. It's like... And the people ask you, are you okay? <laughs> What's going on? Talk to me. Why have you got... Uh, why have you got uh, I, I, I want to. It was a choice. Yeah, I was going to say, what was your response to that as a man that was like, look, I've chosen to take yeah, this direction. I got a little bit embarrassing, I'm not going to lie. Like, a couple of girls had said it as well. I'd take my phone out to try and take their number and they'd be like, is that your phone, yeah? Re- what, really? Yeah. 2019, 2020, you're getting That's that. phone discrimination. No, it really it is. is. Um, but no, I, I'm, what, what's this one, the 11? Yeah. 11. I, can't really, I, I can't really tell. I really yeah, like it. the 11. I really like it. They've so, actually improved. The, I'll, I'll be honest with you, battery life on the 11 and the 11 Pro has actually been doing really well. The new Pixel's actually been a little bit of a... Battery's battery good. I'll tell you what else I needed as well, a decent camera. Because yeah. 
um, if I need to do the odd post or something like that on Instagram, the camera on my old phone was really terrible. So I had to, I had to get other people to take a picture and then <laughs> send it. You can't even airdrop it or whatever and get it in good quality. It's, yeah, it was a little bit of a pain in the ass. But I'm, I am back to iPhone now, but I, I came back reluctantly. Yeah. I didn't come running back. I came back to my iPhone like it was, you know, like them ex-girlfriends who you've been away from them for so long that you can't remember why you broke up with them. Oh, yes. You just start thinking, what was it? You can't put your finger on it. Come, what was it? That's did some we, of the best sex, you know. We argue all the yeah. time, but that's yeah. what you remember. Yeah, yeah. You remember just remember sex. like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. well, I, there, were, there were those good bits. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I reluctantly came back to, to, to iPhone, but so far, so good. Yeah? So far, so good. Back little, in the house. Little, 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 little trial period. So I'm just going to have to blow my nose. So that's all right. <laughs> oh, all right, so oh, Dev. CES is happening in the US right now in Las Vegas. And it's been a little bit prudish over the last few years, if I'm honest with you. Like until last year, they didn't really kind of have anything other than like mainstream tech and kind of indie stuff that wasn't very naughty. But um, they've actually gone in a nice little direction in CES. They've opened up things a little bit. So I'm going to throw a few ideas at you, things that are floating around in CES and prototypes. Uh, one of them is, and this is how we actually ended up talking about micro penises before the sh a show started, is a company has just given men a good reason to shave down below and be prepped and ready do you keep, to go. Do you keep your arm at, keep yeah. cock and balls always, trimmed? Always, cock and balls. Balls are fucking hard to, to shave, but do, yeah, I do. Do, do you know when I realised yeah. I was getting on a little bit? Oh. And like, definitely over 30. Greys. No, nah, not, not <laughs> greys yet. Thankfully. <laughs> Jeez, that's when you got to quit. When you see salt and pepper pubes, yeah? When you see salt and pepper pubes, you got to kind of, you've got to, that's 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 end of day, isn't it? So they look quite distinguished. Nah, I man, mean, it has the same reaction. Say like you know George Clooney's hair. Women are a bit like ah, oh, you know, a bit distinguished older gentleman. I don't think that scans to your pubes, does it? Like a comb over on your pubes, nah, that is silver. I, I, I tell you when I knew like ooh, getting over thirty. Oh. Couple of hairs on the shaft. Shaft hairs. God. How how? Because I got ones at the base of the shaft. Oh yeah, we're talking base, not like, how, how fucking how, helmet like, percentage. What? Uh, How I'm close to the helmet? No, I'm saying not uh, towards the helmet. Okay, I've got yeah, like yeah. an Amish beard like <laughs> along the back of it. No. <laughs> Base hairs. Base hairs. Base hairs. But they're not, it's not like enough to warrant shaving it. So I just pluck it out. You pluck it? Yeah. And sort of like. How does that feel? Grip my teeth. Pluck it out. Is it, does it hurt? I mean, what's the, where does it hurt you most to pluck hairs? I've plucked a nose hair before. I do. Like, I, en I, en I enjoy plucking my nose hair so much that they, they grow back really thick and resilient now. So I can't really do it. <laughs> you just can't get them out. Nah, I can't. They're like too, they're too tough now. Um, but no, I, I, I like keeping a freshly shaved cock and balls. 100%. It's just, it's, it, it just feels cleaner. Is everything the same level of lowness? Or do you um, have like the box, the box Yeah, shape? I'm not trying to do like a, like a fade or anything like that. Yeah. Or cut any zigzags in it or nothing. Yeah. Um, just all one level. Yeah. Like to get it all, all clean. Like, I, just think, I think it's cleaner. I think it's very considerate. Yeah. Yeah. Slap a bit of towel crown. Don't you want to show them off a bit more as well? Yeah, like, when you have hey, listen. proper freshly shaved balls, don't you want to go, you want to show, don't you? Yeah. Show people and go, look at these. But I've, I, I have to your be fingers. Yeah, across, yeah, yeah. Don't get your hair, hands stuck in any hair, in it. <laughs> <laughs> but like shaving the balls is like the, one of the hardest. Yeah, if you nick them, man. Yeah, it's fucking painful. You know what? The shower afterwards, when the water hits yeah. it. Yeah, <sighs> I've nicked my like, balls. I've also done that thing where, where I don't know what it's called. There'll be a, a name for it. But where the base of your dick meets, I guess your, your stomach. Ooh. Where that oh, is, right, like yeah, right yeah, down yeah. The, right the trunk. Yeah, top yeah. gooch. Right, right down the trunk. <laughs> yeah, the trunk. I've like shaved that bit and it's quite a difficult right angle, isn't it? That sort of little joint mm. where those two bits meet. And I think I shaved it a bit weird and then I got an ingrown hair. And for good, for a good two days, I'm looking at down at it going, it's definitely a herpes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. I'm like... <laughs> That is 100% happy. And you were like, fuck, 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 Did you Google it as well? Did you do the thing yes. and Google it? And, oh, yes, of fuck. course I did. I was like, oh no, but thank, thank goodness, wasn't herpes. Did you start thinking who it, you Just start thinking, thinking who head. is it that fucking gave me herpes? Yeah. You're thinking, innit? Or is it like, because isn't it one of those gross things that most of us have, is it a HPV, HPV. one? I'm not too wise on it, but there's a HPV virus that apparently... Is it, is it HPV? Why do they call it HPV1? Is that a type oh. of like Yamaha motorbike? <laughs> 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 no. 
This is one of them. It's a battery type. Well, one of more, more, no, no, one it's, one it's a type. Fire it is a, in the old video. It was on the HP one one two two three three. <laughs> yeah, there is. There's, hate, there's her, herpes simplex virus, most commonly known as herpes, categorized into two types HSV1 or oral herpes and HSV2, <laughs> genital herpes. So you would have been HSV2. Yeah, but again, and H- just HPV is the thing clarify, that HPV is the thing that loads of people have, but only some people manifest. But they're giving eight year olds or third, not eight year olds, year eights, 13 year olds, I think, eight, nine, whatever, uh, they're giving them a vaccine for it. But if you already have it, you can't be what? getting a vaccine. But they're giving kids vaccines. Eight-year-olds year olds get a vaccine yeah. for herpes? Yeah. No, HPV, <clears throat> which is, uh, do me Googling. Uh, yeah, HPV vaccine is out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but, for genital warts, that one. I'll tell you what. Just so you know. I'll tell you what, right? Say what you want about global warming and the end of the world. Yeah. Fucking's going to be amazing in the future, isn't it? <sighs> Mate. It's, they, it's, this is the tech I'm trying to tell you about. They, they give you a shot. Yeah. That is going to leave you immune from AIDS. Yeah, but. Herpes, gonorrhea. You know what's going to happen, though? We're going to be busting so many irresponsible nuts uh, everywhere. Dev, you know what's going to happen, Dev? And I, I don't want to get all Eddie Murphy on you, yeah, but there's going to be the new brand. There's going to be the new and improved version of STI. Can you imagine? There's right, going to be something. Gonna be another, what, you reckon there's going to be another? Man made a CD, you know? Whoa, whoa, that's controversial. <laughs> yeah, they want to get us. They wanna, yeah, there'll be some new fucking STD where you, I don't know, your balls turn inside out, you piss your bollocks out. Do you know what I mean? You go for a piss one day and one of your bollocks comes out. Worth it. What if- <laughs> so, um, so this thing basically is a plaster that people have seen and there's this doll in CES right now with a, with a, with a plaster on its gooch area, right? And they're saying that this mannequin has this thing called a taint plaster. This is what they're calling it for now. And basically, it's an early stage prototype, the first wearable solution in treating inadvertently early climax. Yeah, okay. It happens to the best of us, all right? Sometimes what? we bust early, bruv. Early ejaculation, Yeah. all right? So there's something here. They've got some, some, some techniques, some plaster that you wear, and apparently... It, it, it means you put it there and it kind of prevents you. I mean, I want to get more information about it. What's well, like a nicotine patch? Is it releasing <laughs> stuff? That's what I need. To, this is what I need to find out. So apparently people are seeing this. Um, and, and yeah, God, let me see if I could get some is, more data on this. And forgive my ignorance, right? Is premature ejaculation for some people so much of a problem ah. that you would invest in a patch? Some people, it's really bad. Some people walking down the street... Fucking jeans rubbing the right way. Really? really? Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not just saying this. You've right? heard about like women that can just cons- consistently orgasm all day long. Like sit right. there. Right, yeah, yeah. Say. But that's like a condition. But, uh, yeah, so guys can have a condition, really sensitive penis. I'm not just saying this, right? I don't know if it's just from watching porn for years or being circumcised or whatever, it, but sometimes I wish I could just come in a couple of seconds. I'm like, oh, this is taking too long. Come on! Uh, what a I humble brag. Go to sleep. What a humble brag. No, what? what if you, but you don't, bruv, even I now, I still have fucking. Yeah, that once in a while. You hook up with somebody. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. You got the nerves. Yeah, baby, give me 20 minutes. No, but at this age now, though, like an early bus, like. I would genuinely, I would like that. <laughs> I, would, I would welcome it. Yeah. I would welcome it. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's better than going the other way and not being able to get it up. And a neuromodulation modulation is what it uses. Yeah, what it, it helps do? the brain communicate better with the ejaculatory nerves. So I'm thinking there's going to be something that it's doing to help because it's kind of placed under the gooch. Yeah, I know where the gooch is. The, you don't yeah, have to yeah, show yeah. me. I'm just, where I'm just feeling the gooch. So right here, you yeah. have to show me where your gooch I'm is. Just right um, here. <laughs> here's my question. <laughs> Is this the right way to apply this technology? If we've worked out that there's patches that can control how your brain works, why not use it, I don't know, say to leave you more susceptible to learning stuff? Maybe a learning patch. I think you're being very unreasonable, Dev. You're thinking about yourself. As somebody who who, who doesn't have this uh, premature ejaculatory, ejaculatory problem, you're not caring, bruv. But there's guys out there who all they want to do is they want to get in to their missus and they want to handle business yeah, for longer stay, than... Hang around for a while. Yeah, they, yeah, they want to chill out for a bit. Want? They want to hear us say, babe, it's too much. Finish off. They don't want to be like... Do you know what I want? I want a patch that makes me come. That's what I want. <laughs> I want a nicotine patch like I wear on my arm that makes me come. An app you can set a timer. 
That'd be good for your mate, the one with a big dick who gets lightheaded. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> put into a service station. <laughs> <laughs> one for luck. <laughs> and then back off again. Oh. <laughs> if there was a patch that could make you come, guys would wear it and we would press it mid conversation with each other. I'd be like, do you know what? Yeah, I would. I'd probably press it. If you're on a date with a hot girl, I'd just, I'd press it half every, and you'd, you'd, you'd firm it though, wouldn't you? Like, you'd be like, so what are you thinking of having for dessert? It's, oh, it's, uh, I think I'm going to have the, um, cheese. Ki- <laughs> I would be so uh, sore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd be pushing out dust. <laughs> so grim. But that's the kind of thing. Is there a big done. market for that then? A hundred percent. If there's any anything to do with making your penis harder, bigger, yeah, faster, going for yeah. long, that's where the money's at. Yeah, What's, what are you saying, Bill? Yeah, big business. And if you knew your mate had one, you'd be like, all right, mate. Bill's in the yard, walk up to your mate, slap him. Make your friend come. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> Billy, Billy said that stuff. If I had a mate, I'd go up to him. You're right, mate. <laughs> Push the button. But wouldn't that annoy your friend though? I, I, I'm, I'm going to say That's this. Violation. I'm going to say this. Yeah. We're good friends. Yeah. I would be annoyed if you made me come. I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that right now. That's not homophobic or anything. That's saying I would be annoyed if you, as my friend, yeah. made me come. If you made me come against my will, yeah. I would be annoyed. That's unreasonable. Don't, don't, don't wind me up. Yeah, you yes, have you use it like a practical joke. You're like in the pub somewhere and you'd be like, yeah. oh, go and speak to that girl. <laughs> The, the joke would totally be yeah. the joke would totally be on you I would not enjoy that like I wouldn't enjoy that I wouldn't do I wouldn't do that to you actually maybe I fucking would for a laugh just to piss now I know that it pisses you off I might be like you're right bruv slap and then I'd also have to do that thing of like oh, oh, like as I'm coming go oh what are you like oh it's just pants <laughs> oh, I fucking hate you dick <laughs> And then after think about it, you're not really going to be in the mood to scuff afterwards, are you? You're going to no, be I'm just really going outside, ch- just go outside for a cigarette. I'll see you yeah. in a minute. <laughs> Start sucking your thumb, <laughs> bro. In twenty minutes, I'm going to fuck you up, bro. Just give me twenty minutes. <laughs> but yeah, anything like that, there's always going to be room for exploring. Yeah. Kind of sexual I like that. The Gooch patch, I like it. I like it, man, because I I feel like women have very well catered for when it comes to sexual aids. I feel like men, I think we could, we've got stuff out there. Maybe we just don't talk about it. It's embarrassing. Like, yeah. uh, Like, I I kind of understand a sex doll, right? I get it if you you don't have, you're not getting laid or whatever, you know, I get get the sex doll. I sort of get that. The one I don't get, like, you know, when it's like just an ass. You know the ones Oh, it's I the mean. ass with the hips. It would just the be pussy. an ass. Yeah. Well, like the, I think they look all right. Like a. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, it's a big. Re- like, it's like a bent over bum. And like they've a, cut off the legs and the chops. Ju- it's the not body. even a torso. It's just an ass. Yeah. Yeah. I, do you know what? It, if I went through all the trouble, I've ordered one online. Yeah. It's arrived. I'm like, let me give it a go. There will be a moment as I'm fucking this ass. That I just catch myself in the mirror or something. It's got and go, a pussy as well. What am I doing? It's got a pussy as well, though. The pussy and bum. Yeah. Just, but, just a bum hole. But it, it doesn't matter, it just really. Feels does it feels so. There's something still sexy and even dignified about a woman playing, you know, it, like pleasuring herself with a vibrator. Yeah. Even like, you know, like big old dildo, right? Mm-hmm. Beads. I'm trying to think of another sort of device. There's something that's still quite dignified yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you found a double ended dildo at a girl's house, like, you know, like, like, oh, yeah. it'd be quite hot. But you feel like if she was like, by some chance, walked into the room or opened the wrong drawer and she just saw like a piece of ass with like no one arms and no legs. Asses in a in a drawer. <laughs> Oh, I think that you know what if anyone wants to send me one of those I'll have a go I'll try it out I just I look, do kind of want to have a go I, have a go, I do I couldn't I'm, I couldn't be I in front be, of a mirror I couldn't watch myself no it. and I, I I would probably feel really horrible afterwards and like, yeah. I can't believe I just did that and and how would you attack it would you take it to bed with you or would you do it out of bed and then shower and come back to your come back to your bed because I'm thinking you know <laughs> you wake up in the middle of the night you're like you could do it a little you know little back shot <laughs> pull it out, pull it out of the jaw or the trunk. Oh, it's so... It's, Spoon it at the sign. It's so <laughs> confusing because they've been made for men. 
So yeah. that's why it appeals to you so much. You look at those sex dolls, you're like, I would fuck. Yeah. And it's because it's been, it's yeah. built so that you look at it and you think that, but I, I kind of want to try, but I also don't want to, because I feel like, what if it's amazing? What fucking a sex doll's better? It's not going to be, is it? It's no. <laughs> I look out to catch myself. I think, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking, you know, there's been advancements, bro. Some of them are smackable. Apparently, you can like they're slappable bums. You see, you feel. You know, I thought you meant like you're smacking them. I was like, <laughs> has that been? A- <laughs> <Are you> Finally, <laughs> I'm able to have sex. <laughs> And smack someone at the same time. Smack the booty. Some of them, they're like, really, they've got like a nice wobble to them. They've got a real like skin texture, apparently. Yeah, you I know. I, 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 I just couldn't be able to get over the the sad element of. Yeah, no, nah, uh, no. Nah. Until they look like ex machina. Yeah. That, that as in. Oh, okay, all right, but they might kill you. But whatever. But wait, wait, there are full, but there are full body models out there with that are very realistic. People are investing in as well. Yeah, no, no, I've, and I've they even s- have like pre-recorded things they say. Yeah, I've seen them. Oh yes, baby, <laughs> you are so sexy, baby. Keep going, yes, yes. <laughs> but don't you think that would be creepier if someone was to see that, like, in your wardrobe? Yeah. Like, you quickly like put your jeans in the wardrobe or something, yeah, and they just see yeah, a body. Yeah. They're gonna think it's like an actual person. Yeah, like a full-on like AI sex doll. Like, you got problems, dude. Where it's like, I'd, I'd have a go though. Is that cheating? Is it cheating? Is it cheating? If your girlfriend had a sex doll that she kept in the wardrobe, and like, what, I think it would be worse if it was one that could talk. <laughs> fuck Marcus <laughs> Fuck Marcus That dickhead uh. Tell me about your day <laughs> Say my name mm, He doesn't listen to you <laughs> Like I do <laughs> I understand you I laugh at all your jokes <laughs> You should leave him <laughs> <laughs> uh, If your girl left you For an AI sex doll That would be Fuck that I'm gonna go depressing. Gonna go buy an AI sex doll That looks way hotter than her <laughs> Start taking it out. <laughs> Accidentally get it delivered to her house and have to go and pick it up. Yeah, I, I, again, it, I, I get the appeal yeah. of it, but there's something about maybe as I'm like pulling out the rubber vagina to stick it in the dishwasher or whatever, where I go, yeah. ah, maybe I should get a girlfriend. Maybe, maybe. I don't know, man. I mean, I think it's one of those ones. Anyway, bruv, on to our next piece of tech. A uh, little sound effect for that should be coming up. <sighs> oh, that's going to make me puke. Like shit the That's what it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's disgusting, bro. Right, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. Right. It sounded like real firm one as well, innit? <laughs> it sounded like you had a few beers the night before. The like, little. <laughs> yeah, like little yeah. fucking dropping. Yeah. That wasn't even someone taking a shit. Shout dropping. out to producer Billy for that sound effect. You need more fiber in your diet. Yeah, man. Oh, that sounded like too much fiber. Which one's the one that makes it loose? To, uh, fiber. Fiber, fiber loosens it, you fiber up. Makes yeah, it loose. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he needs, yeah. He, he, he needs more fiber. Yeah. By the way, whenever you have painkillers, like if you have like a minor operation, they give you something like Dijacodine or whatever like that. Ask them for fucking fiber. Oh, yeah. Because really? that's the shit that blocks you up. That's like oh. one of those. It's like a. It's like an opium. One of those ones. Yeah. It stuffs your fucking asshole. It's like opium. It's like one of those opium-based like drugs. An opiate. A co- or is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Opium. 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 <laughs> Or you like some 14th century <laughs> Chinese merchant? Yeah, man. I hope some so. opium. <laughs> Fuck it all. An opioid. Who <laughs> says to their doctor, can you give me some opium? <laughs> yeah, it's an, o- an opioid analgesic. There you go, yes. Yeah. An, an, o- an opioid analgesic, actually. Uh, but yeah, uh, opium. <laughs> I went all Sherlock Holmes there, innit? Can I have some opium, please, to take and smoke? Okay, no. <laughs> um, right, so it's not just tech giants that want to have massive showcases at CES 2020. There's other companies getting involved as well. Now, US bog roll manufacturer, Charmin, they also give... Sh- give sh- 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 Charmin. Um, you harmonised on that. I really like that. One of us uh, did. Uh, I, I did. Oh yeah, no, you did. You're right. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they've got in on the action as well. Now they've demonstrated a free thinking conceptual prototype designed to give you superior shitting experience. Now, one of these experiences, I'm I'm very proud to say that I've been raised with almost a phobia of this because I always double check there's enough toilet paper yeah. in the bathroom before I start my shit. That's a problem. Can we just get into that? Have you ever been? I think I've been caught short once. And I just had to run to a shower. Yeah. But one of my big phobias is going for a shit 
and not being able to whack my ass afterwards. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would, I would hold it in if there's not enough tissue. Yeah, to like really get into it. No, nah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. Do you know? I've also started doing maybe like last six months. Right, I do my my sit down wipes. Yeah, and then I do a few standing. Do you know? Do wow. You, do, you know, do you know what? I've, do you know what I've realized? Okay. Do you know what, this happens a lot, right? I know it's more poo talk, but do you know what happens quite a lot? Right. I'm very thorough my wipes. Yeah. Very thorough. Almost to the point where it's a little bit uncomfortable. Does it hurt a bit if you? A little bit. But careful, small bro. price to pay. Yeah. I'll think I've been really thorough with my sit down wipes and go. Looks like everything's done. Stand up just to get in a few more. I'll be like, oh, we're not quite done yet. Really? And then the old me. The OB would have just got up and walked, you know, <laughs> would have left at that point, yeah. wouldn't, have, wouldn't have even checked. I still don't understand though why toilet technology is not better. Here in the UK. Yeah. yeah. Like we so need better. We need B-Days, bro. We really B-days. do. We 100%. really do. Like, I'm, just, I'm sure we, we've talked about it before, but the toilets in Japan, bro. Yeah, man. Un- Unbelievable. 100%. I what think a toilet that will wash out your arsehole with warm water. Yeah. And you can choose the intensity as well. Where would you go for? I mean, Maximum. well, steady on you maniac. Um, if you are going to use the toilet, <laughs> Billy was like, Max, Maximum. I'm ready. He's like, give me it all. Billy strapped in like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> give me all you've got. <laughs> um, now they, um, they have intensity levels. Yeah. And when you use the bit of advice for you, if you're going to use one of those toilets for the first time in Japan or somewhere, go rookie. Yeah. Yeah. Go rookie. Uh-huh. Let it, let it knock on the door. Yes. First. Yes. Cause it is quite intrusive. I'm not even joking. You can get it to the point where the water is so intense. It's probably at that point. It's penetrating you. Oh, really? It's like an inch yeah. up your ass. Yeah. That's a proper yeah. clean out, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. really good. So it's yeah, yeah. A, a partial colonic. But that's what I like is you're not just getting the hole. Yeah. You're getting what? a little bit of the bit in so it's, actual it's pre- sphincter. It's preventing the shitty ass feeling that can happen later on. Yeah, it's really nice. And it can happen. There were even times I was using those toilets in Tokyo. Yeah, not even shitting. Didn't even need to didn't shit. Didn't even man. shit. Just for the pure pleasure. I just wanted to feel clean. Nice, bro. Wanted to feel clean. Well, How sexy do you feel knowing that you have a clean asshole coming it's, out? Of it's shit? not necessarily sexy, but I'll be honest with you. I feel like I'm a better person than most people. Yeah. If I have a squeaky clean asshole like that, I'm like. I'm better than you as a person. I'm doing better in life. Do you feel that if you had one of these installed in your house? I'm looking into it. I'm looking into it. It's not that expensive. I I know, bruv, but you're going to now be left with the dilemma of having to use regular toilets. Yeah. When you are not at home. I I, I don't get, you know, we're talking about, you know, uh, keep cups and plastic straws Mm -hmm. and, you know, all these little ways that we could be saving the environment. Yeah, yeah. Why don't we use some water to wash our asses? Hmm? For real? We're For like, real. no, we need to level football sized pictures of rainforest because we want to be able to like wash our asses. That's true. And at what point here in the UK did we decide that using a piece of toilet paper was more hygienic than using water? Because water is way better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. at least you're getting it. I'm a toilet paper wetter at the moment. So I'll have a few wipes and I'll wet, wet the toilet paper and go again. Then yeah, dry it up. I, I know the last time I was here, we were talking about the wet wipes thing. Yeah. I've stopped doing that now. Yeah, you said that with your chest. I'm glad that you've changed I've around. Stopped doing the yeah, wet wipes that's thing. good. That's I good. Feel bad. Yeah, I hear that. But anyway, Charmin, <laughs> they've got the Charmin robot, which is essentially a wheeled toilet roll holder. It's Bluetooth controlled, and it's a little. Ro- it's got a little robot face. It's all you cute. Don't need it. And it has a little toilet paper on top, and it has infrared sensors to navigate your house. Yeah, has to be single story though. Can't Why? go upstairs yet. And then it will bring you a fresh toilet paper if you're ever in a jam. Why? Where are you going to be that you would need <laughs> toilet paper that you can't get up and go and get it yourself? <laughs> we're just... With a shitty ass. We're, we're heading so quickly towards those fat, boneless people in Wally. Yeah, man. Who lie around like yes. slugs and don't do anything. Yes. I don't want a robot to bring me tissue. Don't need it. All right, then. How about this, then? The I'll get sm- I'm getting myself. <laughs> so lazy. I'm never. I've never been in a position where I'm like, I really wish R two D two would come and like give me some some loo roll right now. Also, also, if you're an adult, yeah, and you've not got sufficient toilet roll in your house, I don't rate you as a person. Or, or like yeah, at least, yeah. at the very least, like a, yeah. an emergency roll. Yeah, yeah, you're an idiot. You're a fucking dickhead. You're an idiot, and you're your not- parents didn't raise you right. Yeah, no, you're not right. And they yeah. failed you. Hundred percent. 
There's kill people yourself. that there's no, people no, that no, live there's, there's people just, that live there. Don't kill yourself. There's people that live their life on that on that lo- those lo- you know when the, the role gets so small, you kind of start thinking how many bits are on it. You know when you try and do the maths, you look at it and go, there's only like six bits on that. There's people that live life like that. It's um it's fucking insane. It's never as much as you think it is either. Is nah, it? You nah. know when you're down to that last just under a third of blue roll left, you're yeah. like, I'm gonna be alright. It's not. See, gonna be right. I can't live like that. I need the right. I need the backup roll there ready. Yeah. And also, do you have the the toilet? at roll going over the front or at the back yeah I, 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 do you know what I, I don't commit yeah it's wherever it ends up uh, over the as top. I put the as I put the, the, the roll on the holder wherever it ends up then that's really? where it is really yeah you only have to have a few maybe one incident in your life where you're hanging your ass over the buff because you've you know run out of toilet tissue that you decide <laughs> I'm only ever buying packs of 48 from yeah, now on yeah. like, that's it there will always at any one time there will be 48 rolls of toilet tissue in my house. I'm a weirdo, yeah. I'm. I would like to calculate how much toilet paper I would need in my house, and if I could have the storage space, I would like to buy all of that toilet paper. It's but, it's one of those things. I don't mind if I've run out of milk. Mm-hmm, that's cool. Do you know what I mean? If there's not, if, if I have bare fridges cool. and cupboards, cool. don't mind. Not fridges, just one fridge. No more fridges. Fridges. Toilet roll is an issue. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything else more vital that you can lose? Nah, hundred nah, percent. I, I I I think about that with, you know, like going away, going camping, and and and, and stuff like that. Yeah, that of all the creature comforts that I enjoyed, that is the one thing where I'm like, what? I'm, what I'm, like, if I did some adventure weekend and they're like, and I'm, where do I wipe my ass? And yeah. they go, just use a leaf. I'm like, ah, I'm going home. Yeah. <laughs> what was it like shitting on SAS though? What was that like? That what was that was weird. So we did we had Luro, right. but they were. They were toilets. So imagine a toilet cubicle yeah. made of wood. Yeah. There's no flushing mechanism. You're just shitting into a hole. Right. And it's a box. So it's not even like you shit into the hole and it goes anywhere. It's just, you're, you're essentially shitting into a box. Mm-hmm. You're shitting in a wooden box. And the cubicles are lined up next to each other. So I think there's like five cubicles at the other side of the base. And there's no door. Or well, the door that is there just sort of covers up your knees. So uh, the cubicles are side by side and the walls only go up to about just below shoulder length. So, you know, not only if you're sat in the cubicle next to you, can I look in your face and have a conversation with you, but you could be on the other side of the base. And if I'm sat down having a shit, you'll be able to see me. But where's Dev? Where's he? Oh, over there. Shitting because you can see, and I'll level with you. First day when we arrived on base, I looked at the toilets and I said to myself, "I'm either gonna wait until three a.m. to have a shit, or I'm just gonna hold it for seven days." <laughs> I won't, I'm not gonna shit. There's no way I'm shitting in front of people. By the end of the second day, I was sat shoulder to shoulder with some of the guys, just like having a shit. Like, <laughs> so what do you reckon we're gonna do tomorrow? Yeah, really. And you just get over it, don't you? You got to because I presume it's that you're consuming. Shitting. It's just shitting. We all do it. Yeah. Whatever. I tell you, I was really impressed by one morning. I'd gone to, uh, I'd gone to use the cubicles, and whoever was there before me had left the most perfect coiled up doo doo I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. Who do you think it was? It was like a cartoon. Who do you think it Can was? That little, yeah, go on. I think it was Camilla. <laughs> For my love island, I don't know why, because she's like so pretty yeah. and like perfect looking, <laughs> and she did this like perfect. I don't know if there was that. It might not have been, but I was also like, how did you do? It was coiled around, <laughs> doing, 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 doing. like like a moose, like, like a Mister Whippy, yes. like think Mr. of Mister Whippy shitty. Think of like a cartoon whipped around doo doo, yeah. right? Where it's got a little pinched off bit, a little tapered bit at the top. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was that. Like, you know. And that really brightened up my day. I remember thinking, huh, that's funny. That's the prettiest doo I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> and I'm really grossed out by stuff like that. Are you grossed out by yeah. your own shits? Yeah, by your yeah own, really. So you, yeah. you can look back at your own shit. Fuck, you know, like that. Yeah, I, t- I did it today. I looked back and I went, what a fucking horror show. Over, really? cr- wow. over Christmas, mate. The dairy, yeah. the drink, the brandy. I was dropping some madness, man. Yeah, it's got off the rails. It really has. My piss started smelling like turkey again as well over Christmas, you know. I've spoken yeah, to Dev about and, this. I'd go and see I've, somebody. I've got. Well. I've never. <laughs> I've, I've, I've had sugar puffs. Yeah. Piss smelling like sugar puffs. Piss smelling like asparagus. Never <laughs> in my life have I had my piss smell like turkey. Piss smell like. T- Bruv, you've we've done a gig. 
in Carlisle one time. It was over Christmas or New Year's and I was DJing. And I was saying to the guys, my piss smells like turkey. And you were there, Dev. And I took a piss in the toilet and I was like, fucking hell, my piss smells like turkey. And everyone, come smell, <laughs> come my, smell piss. my piss. <laughs> and everyone came into it. Fuck, you know, <laughs> you know what I remember you said? You said, that's the shittiest superpower anyone could ever have. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Smell piss. Even then. Yeah. Oh, that's so hilarious. But anyway, the Charmin smell sense is a new thing they've got. It, it's got a carbon monoxide detector in it and it will warn you. They, you slap it on the outside of a toilet and it will warn you if a sibling, parent, loved one or mortal enemy has just dropped a stinky chunk of sewer chocolate in the loo before you w- walk in the bathroom. It's a little LED screen. You get like a face which says not safe to enter and then a face to say it's safe to enter. You might like that. Stop you getting that, this that is, waft. This is for really rich families, isn't it? I'd this like that. for families who have two Roombas, yep. a Bluetooth fridge or yep. whatever for whatever reason yep. and they don't talk to each other yep. and there's no love in their household either. I think I'd like to not smell They're someone's cold shit. cold and distant. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's what it is when you live with your, your family. You gotta smell each other's shit. Uh, that's what it is. That's what living with family is, is smelling each other's shit. It, it comes with the territory. I think, yeah, 100%. In my, in my house, it was a competition between me and my brother when we were young. We, my brother used to let some, like, I'd be outside the house and I'd open the front door and be like, fuck's sake, bro. Yeah, my sister does some eye waterers, man. Yeah, man. I won't say which one because. She'll actually murder me, but... Yeah, I was going to say. They've also got a VR helmet that you can use on the loo, but I guess VR helmets are uh, there already. Anyway, yeah. yeah, you know. A VR helmet you can use on the you loo. You just wear it, put it on, and, you know, it's just there, docked in the loo. But I feel like there's VR helmet. There's VR things that you can have that are on your mobile that you can use anyway. I don't like that. Yeah. I don't like um, a VR helmet on the... Yeah, I got a go suit, man. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, cool. Our... Oh yeah. No, no, we are, bro. We're almost done. I was gonna say we're not. No, we're not even halfway through the some of the stuff. We oh, we're just. Pro- like, all I've talked about is herpes and fucking gooches. All right, let's power blast through it then. You can add Alexa to your shower ju- shower head. So there's a shower head that you can talk to, and it's designed so that it can ignore the water noise. Of noise and you can just command it to do stuff. Play your favorite radio show, podcast. Do you know? Adjust I, I the think water. I feel like that would be good because I feel like I'm really me in the shower. I'm naked, I'm vulnerable. Yeah. You know, I could be like, Alexa, tell me I matter. <laughs> or a lot of the really embarrassing moments that have happened over my life seem to yeah. pop out in the shower. So I'd yeah. be like, Alexa, play some really loud jungle to cover up these horrible <laughs> memories from getting rejected in primary school. Quick. Do you take those showers where you stand there and look into the water to yeah. let it trinkle down your face like yeah. you're in a fucking R&B video? Yeah, yeah, I definitely do that. I dun, definitely dun, like, dun, look, dun, look dun, down dun. and let it just kind of like run over my face a little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right, there's the Smarty Pans, which allows owners to record a recipe so that it can be shared with others. So you can actually, it works out what you put in the pan, how long it's in there for the heat and stuff like that as well. That's, That's pretty good. Did, right? I like that. The Innerve wants you to swap your cooker knobs for smart dials, which you can use with apps. Again, you can turn up heat with a voice command, yeah. automatically turn off the stove if it's unattended for too long. Yeah, because I, I have an electric hob. Yeah. And this is so boring, but the actual optimum cooking temperature is yeah. between three and four. It fucking pisses me Four's off. Four's too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three is not enough. yeah, yeah. I need like a kind of incremental dial yeah. as opposed to click, 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 yeah. click. So that would actually be really good. I yeah. go, I'm making this or I'd like to boil water or whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. This is the optimum temperature that I need. That's a, actually a pretty good idea. There we go. There we go. Uh, there is the pantry on, which aims to automate food shopping lists via shelves that monitor when a family's favorite groceries run low. So it's basically got loads of little areas that you put your separate groceries on but this could work out being quite bulky if you need like a separate space for everything or it could make you very organized that's the thing so it says look dev running out of coffee could you trick it into ordering things for you so say for example if your parents when you were a kid had that sort of thing set up <laughs> and you wanted like i don't yeah. know like another pack of mcvitie's biscuits yeah, yeah yeah could you say take a couple of apples yeah and then try and like swap it out quickly <laughs> so that it thinks you've run out of biscuits, order some new ones. Yeah, or just lift up the biscuits for like 20 seconds and pop them back down again. It's interesting, that's the first place my brain goes to. When you tell me about new technology, I go, how it's, can we abuse it? How can, how can we rinse it? How can I use how can we hack for it for my own personal game? Hey, standard tech. Uh, there's a bright lock which unlocks front doors by detecting a pattern of light pulses fired from your smartphone's flash. So I would, for example, have a specific flash that comes from my phone, like whether it's like a coded, like, number of flashes like high speed ones I could send that to you and be like Dev 
uh, let yourself in. I don't like this because all of this can be hacked. Yep. Yep. Any kind of this technology, it's all zeros and ones that can be hacked. Do you remember a few years ago there were those smart dolls that they were giving to kids? Oh, it was like yeah. a doll you could get, yeah. you could download its personality or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. immediately people hacked into it and were getting them to say things like, Hi, my name's Sarah. Your parents don't love you. <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked. It's Why don't up. we drink those bottles under the sink? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's really mm, weird stuff. I'll take the Mr. Muscle, you take the silly bang. It's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I know you feel dizzy But keep on drinking <laughs> Who can finish first <laughs> that's, a, that's a horror That's a horror film isn't it That is a proper horror film This summer Oh thank you oh mum and dad um, Right Alright cool bruv Tone you Liberate your, your You from the toilet Of having to tie up rubbish bags Yes or no It ties up your rubbish bags for you oh, What is wrong with us <laughs> What <laughs> fucking lazy fat slob is sat around going, bro? I want to type my bin bags, but it's too much effort. <laughs> Dope. Dope. All right. Anyway, look, we'll put the rest of those up on the Facebook group. How to Kill Lamb. We've got a Facebook group. We're Join doomed. that. We'll That's throw those up. Yeah. From CEX. Yeah, well. CES, CES, CES Sorry, uh, CES <laughs> Well you know what bruv There's loads more to come um, We've got a few people On the ground out there So we'll uh, we'll talk to them And find out what's going on Out there But bruv This has been How to Kill an Hour I've been Marcus Bronzy I've been, I've been Dev Yeah Where can we find you online Let's just remind everyone Um, I've got an Instagram page yep. That's going to be pretty good Pretty good My name's Dev on Instagram Like just Dev T-E-V Not Dev. for sale It's not for sale Even though I do get offers All the time How much have you been offered Millions Fuck off I'll take millions. I know, I would. Yeah. But I is can't. It, yeah. <laughs> something something about the offer that I feel like is not legit. It's a bit like, you know, when you get those emails from a Nigerian prince who's yeah. in exile. Yeah. And uh, they've got like 160 mil. And yeah. uh, all they need to do is just put it in the bank for a bit. <laughs> and they want to borrow your bank account. And for your trouble, they'll chuck you a couple of mil. Like, don't worry about it. I'm yeah, this yeah, is, yeah. It's nothing to me. I really want to believe those emails every time I get it. Nah, don't do it, bro. For about half a second, every time I see one of those emails, don't I'm do like, it. yes, don't, don't, finally. Don't oh, listen to my uncles. Scam. Don't listen to my uncles, bro. <laughs> they will not look after you. Don't pay the deposit of 10 grand and then pay again because they didn't get it. Don't do it. Yeah, uh, you can find me at Marcus Bronzy, M-A-R-C-U-S-B-R-O-N-Z-Y, everywhere. You can find How to Kill an Hour everywhere as well. In the meantime, uh, in between time, plenty of ways to kill time out there. Thank you for killing some time with us. Bless. Bless.